Hi guys. You know, we all end up using the same sort of transitions, don't we? Graphics-based ones, flash-based ones, all pre-prepared from somewhere else, someone else. Um, now, we all have these, or something similar. We shoot with them, we edit. So, why don't we use them to do our own transitions? Something like this one, maybe. See what you think, and perhaps have a go. I thought I'd try and show you how to do a sand transition. Basically we need a green screen. This is actually a piece of ply covered with some nice green art card. Nicely smoothed out as if you're wallpapering. A little bit of cardboard here to stop the sand blowing everywhere, particularly if you're going to do it inside. If you're not going to do it inside it doesn't really matter. You may run out of sand though. So what do we need for this? A camera, tripod, so we get a pretty vertical view straight down. I won't go into the other cameras, there's one there and there's one up there. Um, it's very important we get an even light here. I'm doing it outside. It's a bright day, but it's... Um, I'll show you. It's not too bright. There you go. But we want fairly even light. And... Uh, we want it so there's no shadows and no variation of light. So, that's fairly straightforward. It's important though you get the light right. I've also done the white balance on this camera, the one that's shooting the transition, because it's very important we get the chroma keying right and we get the green colour right. So, they're two crucial things, flat lighting without too much variation and doing the white balance so that you get the chroma key right on the board. The other pieces of kit that's necessary are a set of silver sand which is down here and somehow you will need something to blow the sand away. You can try it with a straw if you like, it doesn't really work. Big hair dryer maybe if the wife will let you have it or indeed if you have one yourself. Um, I use a paint stripper or I have used a paint stripper in the past. Now this time I'm going to use a modified garden blower. It's really noisy, so it'll spoil the whole thing, but it's really powerful, so we can make sure we get all the sand out of the way. It's uh, modified so I can shove a piece of garden hose up its spout and uh, I can use it to blow the sand away. So, should we get started? Firstly, we've got to get our sand. I've been using some children playing sand. Um, it's very light, so it blows everywhere. So I'm going to have to choose a bit of time when it's not blowing so much. A kitchen sieve. That gives us a nice even spread of sand in our camera view. OK, let's get going. Because I'm outside, I better blow the insects off. So I'm going to get this sand and carefully put it over our camera area. So that we get a nice even covering of sand that we can now blow away. Let's have a look and see how we go. I'll adjust the zoom on my camera to get it so that it's all covered very neatly. Like so. That looks okay. Now the moment of truth. Also the moment of noise. Let me put the blower on. As you can tell, really noisy. So basically, here we go.
and that's it. We've got to see what it looks like. Now let's have a look at how we uh, use our transition that we've just shot. Open up PD. I have a nice five second beach scene here from Malapascua in the Philippines with a little bunker on it. And here is our raw shot. Way, way, way too long. Okay, let's zoom up to find out where the action really starts, which is approximately here. We split the clip at that point. Highlight the piece we don't wish to use. Remove and move. We're still too long. Okay, highlight it. Use some power tools this time. We need to change the video speed. We need it to be five seconds. And there we have it. It's now reset to the same length as our JPEG image. We now need to do the most important thing, which is chroma key. So we modify. We move our slider so that we can see the green background that we need to chroma key out. We move up to the top left, we enable chroma key. We select the color picker and we find a representative point on the green background. As soon as we click on it, it becomes transparent. We now have to play with tolerance of intensity and tolerance of hue to get a nice clean edge. Let's move the tolerance of hue. That's not too bad. Tolerance of intensity. Okay, that seems to be okay. We save. And then we have a look at it. The sand starts to blow away, revealing our seaside image underneath. And that's it.